Hello and welcome to WatchVG.com. This is part one of the long-awaited Songs of Faith and Devotion album review series. And this episode, part one, we're talking about a different approach. And what I mean by that is every album that Depeche Mode made, although they started off as a four-piece electronic band, there was this kind of evolvement. There was always a conscious desire to push the frontiers of what they were doing, to innovate, to move things forward, and to not repeat what they have done. The approach to this record was very, very different. Whereas the previous records, it was all about pre-production. Martin would obviously have a studio at home and he would he would produce a lot of the stuff by himself. And a lot of his demos are online. You'll be happy to know that here in watchvg.com, I'm gonna do a lot of videos on the demos. I've got a series I'm busy uh, toying with called From Demo to Completion, where we listen to the demo and then we listen to the finished product and we discuss how it started and where it ended up. So the approach here, yeah, very different. It wasn't about, you know, programming and layering things upon things. It was about going into a studio and just working like a lot of, you know, real bands do, where, you know, you jam and you record something and then you get it wrong and you play it again. And so a lot of the approach here was to record pieces of performance, live, live chunks of performance. For instance, whereas if we take like Violator, You'd program, let's say, the bass line, dun, 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 and then quantize it, and then put the tick, 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 tick. You know, you'd layer everything and then move. You know, that, that, that's how electronic production is done. It's layering upon layering and then just, you know, programming things in. Take the human performance element and combine that with modern production techniques and thereby develop a more interesting sound. Violet is very programmed still. You know, there's lots of individual sampled sounds, but they're all programmed on the exact beats in the bar. Whereas later we would use chunks of performance that had all the inherent mistakes and humanity. So what I've put together for you now is a video where I go to my door and I've loaded two Depeche Mode songs in, one from Violator and one from Songs of Faith and Devotion. And I'm gonna do a very, very simplistic explanation to kind of illustrate what I've just said, how the production changed between Violator and all the previous albums and this album, Songs of Faith and Devotion, how the programming, although important, kind of took a back step so that human performance and, you know, all the inherent mistakes that come with being a new human could actually take the forefront and the center stage for the production of this album. Roll the tape. Right, and here we are at the door. I'm assuming that there are people in here that do not understand music production. So if it's a little bit elementary for you, just understand that I'm trying to make this video as inclusive and as straightforward for everyone to understand. And it's particularly aimed at people really who, you know, don't understand music production and things like that. So I will keep my explanations straight and concise and as to the point as what I can. Really what I wanna point out is I've got two tracks loaded here. I've got Depeche Mode's Wild in My Eyes, and I've got Walking in My Shoes. Wild in My Eyes, obviously, from the Violator album, and Walking in My Shoes from the Songs of Faith and Devotion album. And the whole idea of this little walkthrough is to sort of show you the different approaches that were done. Now, obviously, Violator, obviously <laughs> one of their most outstanding albums of all time, was a very sort of metronomic album. And what I mean by that is uh, it's, it's very sort of, as Alan said on one of the documentaries, he said it's very sort of like programmed and exactly every sound is programmed to the exact beats on the bar. And you can actually hear the click going exactly precisely in time with it. So watch again. Now, I'm gonna quickly jump to Walking In My Shoes. Obviously a very different type of song. Okay, so this one's at about 93. So I'm gonna quickly just change the, the grid to 93. But what you will notice with this is, although it's on the bar, it has this kind of drift to it where it's not 100%. 